Hi there, my name is Alex Ayrton and I want to talk about my balls. If you don't have time to watch a 15 minute video, you can get us plugged straight into your ears. Just visit us on Stitcher, iTunes and what else? SoundCloud. Search for Newton Shred or Longboard I guess and we should come up. Good weekend, welcome to Newton Shred Show episode number four. Uh, I'm sorry it's a bit late this week, I've just been pretty crazy busy with lots of stuff going on and uh, thank you George for the finger to everyone, or maybe more specifically to me. Uh, today we're going to be catching up with events and sessions that will be going on and upcoming, as well as general kind of stuff with products coming into the shop and any kind of news I got on the end. Our first section is called What's Up and it's to do with events. So. I didn't get a chance to go to this on the weekend, but it was the Banditos Halloween Shred on the Saturday, which was Halloween. Uh, loads of folks managed to get down there. It was organised by Aaron Skippings, Newton's family. Uh, let's see who else was there. Toby Newman, Alex Bailey, Dan Ravnall, Finbar Crawley, Aidan Shilson Thomas, Mr Higgins, who was flipping you and me off a couple of minutes ago, and a whole bunch of other peoples. Uh, it looks like it was quite a, a firefight with plenty of fireworks going on all over the place. Would you say that's right, George? Yeah. Yeah, people were getting shot out basically with fireworks, which is kind of thing when you're a kid, people are like, don't play with fireworks, but as soon as you turn 18, it's all fair game. So yeah, <laughs> check the video in the show notes. Uh, there's not an awful lot coming up, at least not that I'm aware of, so if I'm missing anything out, please do drop anything in the comments, like some events, sessions, drop us a PM, however you want to do it. Um, this Saturday, I'll be bringing the Crystal Palace Park beginner and slight obsession back to existence. Yeah, London. So that's on Saturday, the 7th of November. Going to be running it from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's in Crystal Palace Park. Uh, I'm going to put up a link to the spot and also the Facebook group where I kind of keep everything updated on where or not the session's called off. I really bad weather conditions, that kind of shit. Uh, the only issue I can foresee is that it's fireworks night to night and sometimes that means the park is completely covered in crap. Uh, so we'll have to see how that's going. And just kind of something to keep in mind for December, there's going to be the Santa Cruz charity distance skate taking place uh, and I'll fill you on some more details closer to the time. So don't forget, if you want to keep up to date with events and sessions that are happening, make sure to follow and subscribe to us on SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, however you want to do it. Next up, we have the hot shit section where I talk to you about stuff that's coming into and out of the shop. And uh, first up, we've got a few things that have recently arrived. Uh, finally, we have the PSC Riptide in and out foot stops. They turned up last week, we got all the colors. And they're pretty nifty because you have both a regular and a goofy inside as well as a switch capable outside and stuff. Aside from that, we got a bit of a bust in restock. Uh, you can probably see here we've got a, what's that, a mini Maestro, the Maestro, we got a couple of Yoface 35s, a Bruno Pro, and uh, here we got the old long bit still here. So yeah, stuff that's coming actually in soon are the Venom Cobra Core Cannibals. Shut that door, you prick. Oh, oh, I was trying to be really quiet. You're not being quiet at all. Just shut it, I'm record. You drop your shit, just go. <laughs> okay. I'll see you, uh, not tonight, tomorrow? No. Sometime, yeah, yeah I'll see you, I'll see you. Yeah, right, ladies okay. man. Okay, the Venom Cobra Core Cannibals that I was telling you about last week. Uh, we're actually gonna have them in stock next week. And we've already had, I think, two or three pre-orders in for some sets, so. If you want, just uh, you can go on our website, visit the pre-order section or whatever. You'll find them if you really want them. The most popular ones are the 76A so far. So yeah, kind of that's it for hot shit. Moving on to the dishonorable mentions, just kind of like a general news section. Uh, I, I really hope if you've got to this point that you've heard that I've put a jingle in, I need to double check it. But yeah, so pretty cool video. Uh, actually, I'm not going to start with the video just because uh, you might find some of that a tiny bit repetitive but I'll hopefully come back to the video later if I remember. So first thing I want to touch on is that the IDF World Cup uh, season or just the IDF race season seems to be fully over now. The last race, if I'm not mistaken, was the World Cup race, which was the Mega Grand Prix race located in Brazil. Now Dylan Stevens was pretty much on fire last year, top contender, 
uh, battling out of Reimer a good few times. This year, you'd have thought he'd been number one because he's been out touring like a motherfucker. No. Motherfucker called Carlos Peixão, who I'm guessing is Brazilian, has uh, just been attending a whole bunch of races. I've not even heard of the guy. And yeah, it just completely knocked Dylan out in the mega grand prix race and as well as the overall open skateboarding rankings so you can check out a pretty good write-up of the event uh there's going to be a link in our show notes once again for that it's just going to be straight to the idf website idf does not stand for Israeli defense force it sounds for international downhill federation oh man too many people using idf I saw something pretty cool recently, it was actually a, a trailer for a DVD and I'm, I really hope this is actually something that's going to be released as a DVD. Venom Bushings released, their, released a trailer one of three for their Eat Shit DVD and it starts off with some pretty super shit. Pretty super shit generally means combining, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what the fuck is that thing? I'm completely drawing a blank now. You call that a you call that a chainsaw and a, opening a, a can of beer in somebody's hand. I'm like, this is how fingers go missing. It's like, oh, not, you know, what happened to your hand? Oh, I just went skating on the weekend, you know, camping with some mates. Yeah, I lost the finger, just gone. No, silly shit. But there's some pretty cool skating in there, and I will personally, if it's at all possible, will be buying a copy for myself because uh, I, I really dig that. You know, people still want to put stuff out in a physical format. That's pretty fucking rad. Something else I saw, which was actually a proper full video part, was uh, basically Axel Surratt from Original Skateboards and Colt Wheels and Paris Trucks uh, just flying down some crazy ass tight technical road in Tenerife. Uh, I know that him and quite a few of the Salcedo House kind of guys were out there, I believe it was like last month, September? Like, yeah, I think it was end of September, so over a month and a bit ago. But Alex Armin, who if you've been paying attention to the show, I've mentioned quite a few times he was doing the follow run for that and it was pretty fucking intense. I'm like, man, oh, you, you hope if you fall off and there's somebody right behind you that you go off the road or they slow down fast enough, you know, they really have to be on the ball. But crazy footage, some rad fucking toe sides getting pushed out hella fast, some pretty sweet hillsides, but you know, hillsides just like, who gives a fuck? So yeah, definitely recommend checking that out. That's kind of it for the dishonorable mentions. Uh, nothing's really kind of jumping out at me at the moment. But yeah, if I'm missing something that you think I should definitely mention, please make sure to leave a comment or drop us a PM. You can, uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on SoundCloud. You can subscribe to this as a podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. It's entirely up to you. And uh, yeah. Please send those thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode, and I think this might be the fastest episode, and maybe the episode I've said um the least amount of times. So, yeah, that's it for now. You can get all the links to everything I've talked about will be in our show notes. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but I think the next episode is going to be possibly in two weeks' time, just because as we go into the colder season, there are fewer and fewer events happening, and. If I do have enough material to put together like a weekly throughout winter, it's going to happen, but I think it's going to be dropping down to a fortnightly. Basically, I don't want to give you uh, something that's just like driven by like a particular section. Like I don't want to have a, a hot shit focused kind of episode ever really. It's this is kind of, yeah, we are a shop, but I don't want that to be like the main drive behind these. I actually want to stay in touch with obviously all the kind of stuff I do that other people do and yeah generally the kind of stuff that I hope you would be interesting too because it's not just about buying skate gear it's about going out meeting people and having fun so I think that's it for this week don't forget to uh, do all the usual bits or whatever and get in touch if you have any questions and stuff we're still serving from the shop or whatever so that's it thanks for tuning in I look forward to hearing back from you some feedback and stuff till next week goodbye Can you see if it's tracking my face, my beautiful face? Is that like a little box around my face? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, cool. Is it recording? Yeah. Recording.